How would you like to live in a Native American bark woodland lodge? <laughs> Have you ever been in the pine forests of northern Michigan? It's an awesome experience, and, and in many places you can actually feel the presence of the ancient people who had at one time lived there. Their villages were most often on or near the banks of a river or the creeks, and this is only common sense because the waterways were not only their highways, but also provided an abundance of food for the Native American Indian. <clears throat> in the late woodland period of Michigan prehistory, the people lived in fairly small, bark-covered wigwams or lodges. Today, all that remains of these lodgings are rings of post molds where the structure had been built. We know a lot about those lodges and life in them. They were built by um, taking saplings and bedding one end into the ground and bending the other um, to form a semicircle or a dome. The completed dome was uh, woven about to make a framework uh, on which you could attach bark sheets to. There were no windows and the entryway was covered with animal skins. There was all, would also have been an opening at the very top to let smoke out. And inside the dome lodge, a hearth for building a fire was made from uh, a ring of rocks usually. And the way the wigwam was built, it was fairly watertight. But even with the fire, I would think it would be awfully cold in the winter time. I sometimes wonder what it was like in one of those domes during the severe thunderstorms or tornadoes. With no uh, understanding of how weather worked, their mythology was filled with entities who commanded the forces of nature, and the Indian was at their, at their whim. So I believe uh, severe weather could be quite frightening, as well as devastating. The floor of the lodge was dirt with uh, skin mats or woven reeds of uh, cattail mats, and they were fairly sparse in furnishings. And I doubt, though, that a whole lot of uh, time was spent indoors. To me, it would be a very difficult existence. But to them, um, it, you know, it was what they did. Um, they didn't know any different. And, and appear, from what I've been able to ascertain by uh, looking at a lot of late woodland Indian sites in Michigan, that they were content and happy. Well, anyways, what do you think? Would you uh, like to live in a bark-covered um, Michigan Pine Woodland Lodge? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, have a great day. God bless.